Hey, I'm David, and I'm starting a YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, I've actually been waiting for like five years trying to think about what I want to do a channel about, and never could figure it out, and I really still can't. So we're going to take a shot and see what happens. I will tell you a little bit about myself in this video and tell you a little bit about some of the stuff I might talk about, but who knows? We'll figure it out as we go. So anyways, about me. Uh, I grew up in Florida, well, not really, all over the place as a kid. Uh, I'll get into that someday when I tell them about my personal life, but grew up moving all over the place, didn't really know what I was going to do with my life, so I joined the military. Uh, I spent about 11 years there doing uh, security and law enforcement before I was medically retired. And as I got out, I didn't really know what I was going to do, but I uh, came back home, started working for... Uh, my aunt and my father-in-law and all my family in the family business uh, selling magazine ads. Uh, through that, I got really driven into wanting to learn about marketing, uh, especially digital marketing with Facebook ads and social media and all that stuff. Never one in front of the camera, but more so, you know, just pushing the buttons and looking at stats. Um... While I was there, I ended up uh, starting some freelancing and I went to go work on my own doing the freelance stuff. I got quite a few clients, got to six figures worth of, of revenue uh, per year and uh, thought I was doing pretty good until, I don't know, I just kind of didn't feel like doing it anymore. I know I talked with my wife a bit. We, uh, My mom had passed and I just kind of fell off. I wasn't doing sales, sales as much. Um, but I still had some clients, but I knew I was ready for a change. So I ended up looking for uh, work, kind of. I kind of still wanted to freelance. I was kind of fighting the feeling. So I applied for a bunch of jobs. I ended up getting this call from a company called Better Holsters. They do, they make holsters uh, for concealed carry. And um, I wanted to freelance for them, but they were not looking for a freelancer. So I took the job as their social media manager. Turned out I was like the only person in the whole marketing department. There wasn't anybody else. They did have an agency that did like Google ads and Facebook ads and stuff. They just wanted me to run the organic social media. Well, over time, I kind of convinced them that we could probably do it better if we brought it in-house. And that's what we did. They trusted me enough because they saw whatever skills they saw in me. And so we grew the... The, so the marketing team, about eight people or so, uh, before uh, before they moved me into being the operations manager. Uh, it's been about five years that I've been there, and it's it's been pretty fun. Gotten to know a lot of people, um, got to experience a lot of things, feel like have an impact. It's great. Um, but there's another journey that I've been kind of just keeping to myself about just starting this content creation, sharing with other people the things I've learned, um, or something. I, again, I don't really don't know what I'm making the video, uh, this this channel about yet. It, part of it I know I want to document um, the journey, and maybe show what could happen if you just do it, or maybe I'll completely fail, who knows? Um, but I, I look back on the, like the five years that I haven't made a video, or at least kept a video published, if I would have, Everybody talks about if you're consistent and you make a video every week and over the span of five years, it'd be 250 videos. And this is just number one right now when I could have, you know, a lot of videos. Potentially actually know what I'm doing. So right now all I'm doing is recording a video with my iPhone and no microphone or anything. We'll see how I can progress and make it better over time. Some of the things, I, as I've told you about my background, uh, I know some of the things we'll talk about is marketing and business uh, topics, tools that I use in marketing, um, maybe other things uh, that I become I'm interested in. I don't know. Uh, currently, I <laughs> I like to try all kinds of different diets. That's one thing about me. Um, I've I've done a whole food plant based, and currently right now I'm carnivore. So I've done everything from one side to the other side. So uh, we'll see. I'm gonna try to keep things really raw and not really, um, not really cut a whole bunch out, especially early on, because I'm still just winging it and trying to figure things out. But uh, we'll kind of keep this as like an experiment and like a documentation of 
what could happen if you just share share and make content and uh, I did actually hear I think it was Mr. Beast talking about uh, you won't actually get any views on any videos until you've done a hundred videos once you do a hundred videos then you can start talking about things but he said just take your first video and make it and each video after that make it a little bit better and eventually you'll make some good videos but he said don't even start thinking about it until you've made a hundred videos. And I, I'm like, golly, I haven't even made one. A hundred seems so far away. Um, maybe we'll try to, maybe we'll try to make up for some time and not have it take two years. If I do one video a week to get to a hundred videos, maybe we'll try to get a couple of videos a weekend. Not fully committing to it. I don't want you to be disappointed if this video has just been like super awesome to you. <laughs> and, uh, you want more than one video a week. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to commit to, but I'm going to do my best to try to try, try to commit to making content regularly. Um, we'll see, we'll see what comes about. I'm sure I'll start tying down more of a system as I go. I find myself at work or other places that uh, in my life that I tend to create a system and a pattern so I can stick to it. It's kind of how I kind of work crazy and wildly until I, I find my rhythm. And that's probably what will happen here. So, um, I'd, from my background and anything that you've heard me talk about in this video, I'd love to get your feedback on things you'd like for me to expand on or talk about. Um, another thing that I might end up talking about is just uh, some of the education and books and things that I've read over time that's led me to have the knowledge that I have now that helps me do the work that I do. Um, hopefully, the stuff uh, that I'll talk about is useful and helpful to you and um, you'll either find your way into marketing and freelance and working for yourself or maybe you'll uh, be guided into getting some more education to where you'll get a really good job kind of like how I have now. I mean, I don't know what the future holds. I probably got, I mean, I'm close to 40, but I feel like I'm never going to retire. So I probably got another 30 years or so of work. So I don't know what the future holds. Um, I'm happy where I'm at and but maybe the, I don't know, maybe this, maybe this first video is the first step to um, something much different. I know a lot of people are like playing the lottery, making YouTube videos. I don't really know if that's the thing that I want to do for the rest of my life is like a, a thing to make a money. That's not really the idea here because I don't know. I just, in general, I've just, I've just always felt like I want to create content and share the information that's in my head. I just never really could figure out what it is that I wanted to share. And that is the theme of this video. I'm pretty sure I've said it like 10 times. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Say if there's anything that specifically that maybe interests you that you want to hear about, if this video even gets any views, uh, share with me in the comments uh, what you'd like to hear more about and I'll expand on that. If not, I'll choose a topic on my second, third, and hundredth video. Maybe by the time I get to my hundred and first video, you will have seen this video. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I sound like a whole bunch of people in their own head who want to start a YouTube channel or a video or something like that, but they just keep uh, fighting it. And they say they're going to do it. I remember it's been actually about like, I'll say it. I got the bug again, maybe like a month ago, and I'm finally starting the video. And then right before I start, and, and I'll tell you, it was like days leading up to it, weeks leading up to it. I'm like, I don't know. You know what? I'll just watch some TV instead. And then while I'm sitting here about to make the video, I'm like psyching myself up out, not wanting to make it. It's weird how you can be motivated to do something and that like all day be thinking about wanting to do that thing. And then right before you're doing it, you sell yourself out and go do something else. Well, just making this video feels like success, even though it might be jumping all over the place. If you're watching this far, I appreciate you doing that. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.